The history of Africa in the 19th century would be incomplete without the mention of an enigma, a quintessential iconic merchant and industrialist, a humanist and an active crusader of justice, Jubo Jubora, popularly known as King Jaja of Opobo, who lived between 1821 to 1891. King Jaja was the founder of the Opobo Kingdom, which lies in the Niger Delta area of Nigeria. Originally born in Umuduroha Amaibo, in the present-day Imo state of Nigeria, at about the age of 12, he was taken as a slave to Boni by Obwa Ajuku of the Oguta community, who had come to the ancient kingdom of Boni to buy slaves. Jubo grew up to become a titanic hero that abhorred injustice, a radical with a pension to salvage the oppressed. By dint of hard work and charisma, he earned the trust of his people and got accultured into the Ijo Ibani rituals and rose to head the Anna Pepo House faction of Boni Island. Under him, Anna Pepo absorbed other trade houses until a dispute with the Manila Pepo House led by Oko Jumbo. This dispute led to his migration to Nkoro, where he was accommodated by the king, Popo. From Nkoro, he founded the kingdom of Opobo. Under his watch as the ruler of Opobo, the kingdom towered above her neighbors, especially in the area of trade, particularly in palm oil. King Jaja of Opobo controlled 14 of Boni's 18 trade houses. To effectively monopolize and control the trade, King Jaja blocked every access of the British merchants to the interior and shipped palm oil directly to Liverpool, independent of the British middlemen. The house system in uh, developed, you know, as um, a, a kind of enterprise. Um, the first that would form the basis of their um, business um, uh, set up. When they have to go to the markets. They had to go there with uh, their uh, paddlers. They had to go there with all the people, with all these strong men that they had. And these strong men, uh, the paddlers of the of the Kenyans to the markets. Uh, they buy this uh, produce from the hinterland and then sell them to the white men. The, 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 they were the acting as the middle men, and um, I think that was one of the reasons why King Jaja had this fight with the British supercargoes, uh, because it, it stopped them from trying to go to the hinterland to buy um, the palm canal and the oil from them, uh, insisting that um, that was part of his territory and that nobody should uh, go, uh, go into his territory without it. So that was um, the crux you know, the, the of, the, of the quarrel between King Deja and, and, uh, and the British. The Opobo Kingdom is blessed with a rich cultural heritage. The Wartam Festival stands tall as a flourishing light that binds the people, bridging the gap of diversities where such exists. The Wartam Festival is always on the starts on the 31st of December um, of each year and culminates in um, the Wartam Festival. Is, uh, Carnival itself on the 1st of, the, of January. Um, it started many years ago. Uh, some, some of the groups uh, started about 1940s, early 1940s. And uh, it's one uh, aspect of our culture that draw people home. Um, there's always a mass return in, uh, during December periods uh, that people were to be part of that uh, event. And we also have been uh, many people coming in uh, to be 
Pato, of the wartime uh, festival. <laughs> Also, the Opopo International Boat Regatta adds glamour to the tourism potentials of the coastal city, among other cultural activities and historic monuments. We think that that's uh, one of our selling points because of its location, because of its history, because of uh, artifacts you know, that are still there, uh, because of um, uh, so many. Um, Interesting features of Opobo. Uh, you, you, you could do uh, yachting in Opobo because of you know the serenity of the of the sea. Um, so many uh, water sports um, can also try there. We also uh, in Opobo, theoretically, uh, have uh, our famous uh, international boat racing and regatta festival which um, has gained government accreditation. So, so there's a, a lot you know, for a tourist to see in Okobo. Given the significance of Opobo in world history, when the Berlin Conference was held in 1884 to 1885, the European nations that scrambled for the African territories designated Opobo as a British territory. It is worthy of note that King Jaja refused to discontinue the taxation of the British traders. Consequently, a British vice consul, Henry Hamilton Johnson, tricked him with an invitation for a deal in 1887 with the British monarch. He was captured upon his arrival on the consul's flagship and was sent into exile at St. Vincent in the West Indies. However, in 1891, King Jaja was granted permission to return to Opobo, but he died in the journey. Since his demise, the kingdom has continued to grow in leaps and bounds along the philosophical direction, mission and vision of the founder. <laughs> with the current King Jaja of Opobo, King Dr. Danderson Douglas Jaja, Jackie V, Treaty King, Amayanabo, and natural ruler of Opobo Kingdom, working with the state government to sustain this legacy. The global virtual celebration of the 150 years of existence of the Opobo Kingdom and fundraising being organized by the Kaleidoscope Business Project, LLC, in conjunction with King Jaja of Opobo, King Dr. Danderson Douglas Jaja, Jackie V, Treaty King, Amayanabo, and Natural Ruler of Opobo Kingdom, is part of the post-event for the celebrations of the 150th anniversary of the Opobo Kingdom. <laughs> In terms of uh, tourism, Pobo stands um, very um, <coughs> prominent and uh, I think that uh, many uh, visitors, any real um, tourists who like to come, come to Pobo to test it, their, their cuisine, which is quite uh, famous, and uh, also to uh, enjoy the, the serenity of the place. Uh, and also see what else they can do to make the place um, more accommodating, make the place um, uh, more um, tourist friendly and all that. The Opobo Kingdom beckons to you all. The event is also intended to develop the synergy that could significantly promote overall economic growth and friendship. Kaleidoscope seeks to create a digital oasis where you can get lost in the beauty of the kingdom. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh.
Bye.